Howdy there folks, this here is the Butcher Man, back with some Farming Simulator 15. Uh, I believe this is probably episode 9, I believe. And we're just trucking along with the farm, you know, getting a lot of work done. You know, we worked on field 2, we worked on field 14 over there, a tunnel roots. Now we're on field 8. We're just getting an awful lot of work done here, you know some good stuff around the farm, getting some work done, doing some harvest, doing some seeding, fertilizing, that whole thing. Just kind of building the farm up and, you know, eventually we'll have some really, you know, a lot more equipment, we'll have a lot more field. Hopefully this series will lead to us owning this whole map. That kind of depends, you know, on, you know, I guess just how things work, you know. But, uh, oh, I guess to start the video out, we'll, we'll, uh, give a shout a little bit of a shout out or whatever you want to call it to our new subscribers to the channel I got uh, YouTube told me I got Cameron Brown I got Ethan Price and I got Andrew Fox okay got three more since I made my last video that doesn't really mean that you subscribed since I made my last video that just means that you know YouTube decided to update uh, at some point so that you know, it would actually tell me that I got you guys. So, like I always say, it takes a little bit for YouTube to update sometimes. Uh, I am up to, I think, 14 subscribers, so it's, it's growing. It's growing pretty good. I think I got three today, you know. I think this morning when I uploaded the video, I had like 11. 11 or 12, I can't remember, but now I got 14. But we're doing real good, guys. The channel's growing just, you know, just nice and steady. I do like it. It's, it's growth. That's how I look at it. It is growth. I've uh, been getting quite a few comments still, you know, people saying they like the videos, people saying they like the map, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, uh, a Tom Drury, the guy that was asking me about the 7310R tractor, I ended up helping him out getting him the, the link for that. And then uh, he asked me if I'd be willing to play multiplayer with him sometime next year. And, I mean, the answer to that is really, you know... I, I don't, you know, I don't mind at all. I mean, it, it sounds great to me, but, you know, it's one of those things that my internet's not that great, so I couldn't necessarily host, you know, I can't host a multiplayer, and I, I don't have the money to put in to rent a server or nothing like that, so I could play with you guys, anybody that wants to play, it would probably have to be on somebody else's server or your server or whatever. I have all the mods and everything required to play on Landy Kid server. Uh, so if you guys have that stuff, I can always get on there sometime. We can kind of work it out. You know, we can all play together on there. If you have everybody here has that sort of stuff, but uh, but yeah, I, I can't sit, I can't host my own server. You know, I don't have the in, my internet speed isn't that bad, isn't that great. I actually have a tech coming out tomorrow to look at it to try to evaluate and see why it's so bad. <coughs> and uh, I've talked to them about upload speed. They said I can't get, like, their maximum upload speed is 5 megabytes per second. Which, you know, isn't even close to enough to really do anything. You know, and I even asked them, you know, can I upgrade my plan to get more? And they said, no. 5 is the most they'll ever get anybody. So, that's kind of the answer to that. Uh, there won't be any streaming, you know. So, that's kind of a, a bummer. I was like, I'd, I'd like to have done some streaming. And then, uh, other than that... I can't remember who it was. I don't. I didn't. Even, I didn't write it down. Uh, I got a comment from somebody asking me uh, if I use course play. I did answer him. I wrote him back, but I figured I'd talk about it in the video anyway. I do use course play. Uh, not that often, at least not in the videos and stuff. On my own personal, uh, you know, maps and stuff, my own save games and stuff, I use course play quite a bit. You know, but uh, for the most part. On here, I only use it. I used it for fertilizing this field. I could use it for seeding this field, you know, that sort of thing. But I do use it from time to time, and I'll probably start using it more and more often. You know, the more fields and stuff we get. But in this video, I might do like a short thing about how to use it or how it works. He was he was also about asking me about the GPS mod. If it's easy to use, and the answer is yes. You know, once you get used to the controls and the buttons and whatnot, it is pretty easy, bro. So, now as far as the uh, the course play goes, we'll talk about that first. It's fairly simple. 
you know, I don't know if the guy was wanting to know how you use it. He, he probably does. I do. I do use coarse play, you know, for the most part, doing fertilizing and seeding. And it's fairly simple, like, do the seeding. Even the fertilizing is the same. You just got to click down here, fert and seed. Uh, go in here, you know, unless when you collect field eight, you know, figure out your width. You know, as long as the implement's unfolded, then all you got to do is just go in there and hit automatic. And then most of the time, like, if I'm just in a hurry or something like that, I'll just click this, whatever, random corners. And then normally on fertilizer, uh, normally on fertilizer, I'll do, most of the time I'll do one headland, but like if there's stuff, like these bushes here, uh, I'll do two headlands, you know, and that just helps out quite a bit. On the cedar, uh, I'll do four and five headlands. And basically all that does is before they even start going up and back, up and back, they'll just start going around and around the fields, you know. And uh, it just makes it a lot easier. Your tractor won't get stuck. You know, it skips a little bit here and there as far as on the corners. But for the most part, if you're running really big fields or you're running a whole lot of fields, you know, it's, it's fine. You're not even going to notice probably, you know, there's really not going to be too much drop in income for those little bitty pieces. You know, considering the fact that you didn't spend the time to do it yourself. Uh, now, as far as GPS, GPS is it's rather simple. You know, download the mod. Uh, make sure you look up and probably even write down the uh, the automatic, like the, the regular program buttons, the controls. Um, I know when you first download it, you got to hold control, the left control button for pretty much everything. Like left control and the zero on your numpad is turned it on, and then left control period or delete or whatever period over there on your number pad brings up the bigger display, like this display right here. And then for the most part, I don't really mess with this field stuff. You know what field you're on. I normally just turn it on, uh, unfold my implement. You know I'll do automatic working with. Uh, for this cedar, it doesn't necessarily work because uh, if you do automatic working with, it'll automatically go out to where uh, these things are. I can't remember what they call them, but those things that come out, you know, uh, it'll automatically go out to those, which will make it where you skip stuff. So I normally decrease the working with on this uh, just so it works a little bit better. As you can see, where the working with is on this thing, it's actually like right here. Okay, it's right there, and that, I mean, you'll be sure to get it the whole time, you know, you'll, it'll, you'll, it'll seem like you're wasting a little bit, but for the most part, you'll hit everything. Uh, and then, let's see, course set, uh, that basically means that, you know, this moves your course left and right, this moves your, like, this actually angles your course, like, it'll kind of tilt to the left or tilt to the right, whatever, this flops it 90 degrees, obviously. The offset, I don't ever mess with that, I know there's ways to do it. You know, if you really want to get in depth to that, I know for a fact Mr. Moose does that when he's plowing for uh, Manchester. Go in there and find his plowing or whatever. He, he sets it up. He does a really good job with setting that sort of stuff up. Uh, what's that? He might be the course player with that. Yeah, I think he is. But uh, I've never really messed with offset. That's what I'm trying to say. And then this down here, I don't ever mess with this stuff either. Really. You know, and I do this down here. Most people I see don't. Basically, all this does is turn left, turn right. It'll do the. It'll automatically turn for you. Like if you guys are just watching this or whatever, it seems kind of lazy, but it's a lot easier. And uh, basically, what it is is like you can press left control and then have your little pointer, or you can press left control and then just your left or right key on your uh, arrow keys, and it'll actually turn for you. And basically, what that helps with is the tractor will automatically go to the next path. You know, some of it depends on the turning width of the tractor. Like this one has a kind of a wide turning width, and that's why it skips a row, which is fine because you're going to end up going back and forth the same number of times. So just don't even don't even fret that. Uh, it does make it a lot easier. You know, and basically all the GPS stuff does is, you know, it allows you to do the field yourself, and it makes it a lot more proficient. You know, you don't have to worry about you know skipping stuff you don't have to worry about uh, going over areas too much twice you know and just wasting time 
So it does it does help out a lot. I just kind of hit my number three key, set my cruise control, turn it all the way up, and I just sit there and go back and forth. You know, that's just how it is. It's real simple that way, you know. We're just finishing up our last pass here. Getting this uh, field number eight finished seeding on canola. And the reason I seeded canola is because I just harvested barley out of it. So basically what I do, I just kind of go down the road to the next crop for the most part. Sometimes I'll kind of deviate from that or whatever. Just kind of depend on what's going on in the rest of the farm, what kind of crop we need. You know, if I think there might be a great demand coming up or something like that. Uh, but we'll take this over to the farm real quick and we'll, uh, we'll get it filled up with seed. And we'll probably come back and grab that, uh, oh, that fertilizer spreader up there. And make it, I'm pretty sure my, tra my traffic should be faster now. Is I got to looking it up and stuff, and as far as the traffic mod goes, like speed, like faster traffic, uh, it's not necessarily that you just put it in your mods folder. You have to actually, like, basically go into it, extract what's in it, and put that in your, uh, your farming simulator folder, like files and stuff. You know, you gotta change some files out and stuff. It's not just as simple as putting it in your mods folder. So, there are videos on how to do it. Uh, if you look in the README, you open up the README, it'll tell you exactly how to do it. Makes it real simple. Okay, so we got our fertilizer spreader here, and uh, it'll seem funny if I forget to edit out the part that I just did, but uh, I'll try to remember. If it seems like I repeated myself, that's because I forgot to edit it out, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to take it over to the farm real quick and fill it up with fertilizer, and then I guess I can use it to show you, you know, how I do the automatic, uh, what I do for course play. I just make it real simple, you know. We'll fill it up and I'll, I'll run it on field four there before we start combining it. I think most people go with the idea that you're supposed to spray it uh, if it's already grown or mostly grown or something like that. We don't have a sprayer. Uh, I guess I could look and see if we could buy one. Might be something I need to do. 29 grand. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see. It only holds 1900 though. Not much at all. Not, not compared to the 8200 on this. I think for now we'll just stick with this. I've never really much liked the sprayers. They're kind of a pain. Because they always seem to get stuck on stuff. Because they do have collisions on the arms and stuff. Um, I know there's some that don't. And then like a lot of the stuff doesn't have collisions. I get back in here properly. We'll get it filled up right quick. Okay, so yeah, this is about what I do. I got it on this down here. I'll go here. Uh, it doesn't even register that we own field four. Well, that's weird. We own field two. Field four is not even in here. Ain't that weird. Um, what do I need to do now? I guess that'll work. Field edge path number. Um, okay. I guess that works. We just hit that and then one should do it. Hit this. Go to first waypoint and then just hit drive course. Hey, yeah, should be able to figure that out. That should be fine. I know it seems a bit weird fertilizing it, you know, why when it's already grown, but 
really the fact that you come in and there's no fertilizer on it and all that stuff. I've already gone over this. It just, it, you make a lot more money off of it. It seems like a waste to not, you know. Okay, so basically I'll, I'll put this in the video too, just so you guys understand what's going on here. And, uh, basically I'm recording this for the semi. And pretty much what I'm going to do is just come over here. And when he drives this, the trailer will be on here, but for the recording purpose, I'm going to do it like this. Basically, you turn and then try to stay as straight as you can, go out a ways, you know, three dots or something like that. And then jump on here, hit reverse, you know, and then kind of just back straight up. And you'll just back all the way up, all the way to there, uh, which seems kind of ridiculous, but that's just kind of how it works. Uh, I guess the way course play records and then what I do is I'll just come down to like here and then I'll just pause it and then I'll run back over here real quick and I'll put my trailer back on maybe there we go then I'll come over here and we'll unpause it and then we'll just drive and then that should work um, I think later whenever we, you know I'll have it come dump by itself and we'll just kind of verify to make sure it's gonna work um, for the purpose of the field four I think we're gonna open this gate we're gonna have them go out this gate here okay so we got everything situated uh, we got the overloader program we got the truck uh, program on course play the truck's not turned on, so if you look up here in the top, he's not there. There's no man truck or anything like that. I don't leave his engine running just because it's a waste of fuel. You know, it just costs him money and he's not really doing anything. But the John Deere stays running with the overloader just because. And the other John Deere is my fertilizer seeder, my fertilizer sprayer. Uh, he's overdoing the other half of the field. I don't know why Corsplay didn't pick up the fact that this is a field. Like, it doesn't even have Field 4 in there, even though we own it. So, I don't know. I guess maybe Corsplay freaked out, seeing that there's a road that goes through it or something. But, you know, that's just sometimes things happen. Uh, I don't know if the recording is going to sound different. Uh, if you guys notice an echo, then the explanation for that is today I went through and actually ripped the carpet out of my computer room. Because we're about to get new floors and all that stuff. The new flooring I bought yesterday, I think it was, or day four, or something like that. Uh, that's what's going to go in here. So the, I ended up ripping the carpet out and all that. And then uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to end up like, smashing a big hole in the floor. We're going to end up ripping the walls out. This has got like paneling on the walls. So I'm going to take the paneling off and we're going to put sheetrock up. And so, basically, what I'm saying is the computer room is going to be under construction for a bit. Okay. And as hard as I might try to, you know, make sure that we're going to have videos every day, hard to say if we're going to or not. You know, I'm going to do my best because everybody seems, you know, I'm getting excited because everybody seems to be liking the videos. You know, I'm getting an awful lot of comments about, you know, nice video, great video, stuff like that. You know, so I'm going to do my best to keep uploading videos and keep recording them, but, you know, since I'm going to be working on the computer room and remodeling and all that stuff, I might have to move my computer out, obviously. You know, I can't leave it in here when I'm tearing stuff up and doing all sorts of craziness in here. So, you, like, you guys just have to bear with me, because, you know, there might be times where there are no videos. Hopefully I can get it done fairly quickly. The idea is that it won't take me more than, you know, a week, week tops to do it. You know, but it's it's hard to say, you know, like when I ripped the carpet out, the plan was just to rip the carpet out and then just to, you know, throw the bamboo floor down. You know, how the installers come in a couple weeks and put the floor down. Well, I take the carpet out, only to find out that the very center of the floor, it kind of feels like the, the floor joist is probably missing. It's either missing or 
it's rotted out or something. Basically, there's no support there. You know, you can tell that there's a lack of support right in the center of the floor. So I'm just going to have to basically do my best and rip the floor out, or at least put a hole in it to find out what's going on down there. Because I don't want them putting flooring in if it's not got, you know, proper support and stuff. So it's most likely, you know, from everything I've discovered in this house, it's probably a rotted floor joist. So I'll probably just replace the joist and then we'll just kind of be done from there on the floor. Uh, I got, well, I got to replace the joist and then I got to go through and put under laminate down over top what appears to be tile on the floor. Um, apparently, my computer room apparently used to be an old porch. Then they comported, converted the porch to a uh, small bedroom. Do what you want to call it a bedroom but uh, yeah we're just we're kind of on that that track at the moment let's let's flip this 90 and rotate it move it over oh, right button. okay over oh, wrong button that should work in here. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it used to be an old porch, and then they converted it to a bedroom, but they didn't convert it properly. You know, it's one of those things to where it wasn't done the right way. You know, from what I can tell, all four of the walls are filled with insulation. Or at least they have, it's like, this board insulation in them. So my computer room is super warm all the time. You know, especially in the winter time right now. Like, right now I have the door closed because I'm recording. And since all the walls are insulated, and there's a baseboard heater over on the side, the rest of the house might be cold. So it turns the heat on, which starts heating up my computer room, and then it just, you know, it, it just kind of goes from there. So basically what I'm going to have to do is tear all the walls, tear, tear the paneling off the walls and, you know, put, take all the sheet, all the insulation down that doesn't need to be there and then put sheetrock up. Um, it's not really that huge of a job. I just got done, you know, when we bought the house, I did the den, the hallway, the uh, laundry room, a bathroom. You know, I, I don't even know how many square foot it was. It was quite a bit, though. But, uh, yeah, I actually ended up doing a whole bunch. And this room, it's only like, I think I measured it out to be like 13 by 9 or something like that. It's not real big. You know, like 13 and a half by 9. So it's not humongous or nothing. Uh, but it'll probably still take me like a week. Just because of going to work and, you know, probably still trying to do videos. You know, I'll apologize in advance if I don't get videos out. But if just so you guys know, if I don't get videos out, like I said, I'm, it's because my computer room's under construction. You know, I can try and try and try, but that does not mean that I'm going to be able to do it. You know, it's one of those things, if I can't help it, I can't help it. You know, hopefully you guys can just bear with me and just wait. You know, maybe go back and watch some of my day house stuff. You know, day house farm videos. Nobody seems to watch those. So if you guys get, if there's a few days I don't upload or something like that, you guys can go back and watch those videos. You know, that'd be great. Give me some views on those. Uh, if not, just bear with me. It'll be a few days. Hopefully it tops two or three if, it, if I do end up lacking in the video department. Um, but it does, it does seem like everybody's liking it. You know, like I keep saying, my subscriber base is growing. I'm starting to get comments and all that stuff. Uh, I don't really know how other, you know, how fast other people's YouTube channels grow. But, you know, mine's kind of growing at like a steady pace. You know, uh, I did ask. Let's see. Uh, never mind, I didn't. Uh, but, yeah. It's getting there, guys. Folks. Everybody out there watching the video, it, it is definitely getting there. Um, this video is probably just about done. Um, 
it's not real late. Like last night I was in here recording and it was late. I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't even get to bed until like midnight or one o'clock or something like that. And basically all I did last night is I, I stayed up late recording and then I basically started the rendering process before I went to bed. And then I got up early this morning so that I could, you know, do all my stuff I needed to do in, in order to start the uh, uploading process and then went to work. And I just made it public for when I went to work. And uh, basically the purpose for that is ideally when I started I thought maybe I'll upload it in the afternoon. But, you know, YouTube tells you pretty much everything when you're a YouTuber. You know, when you upload videos and stuff. But it's basically telling me that like over 50%, I think, around 50%, um, of the people that watch my videos are from the United Kingdom. So at least for the most part, until I start getting something, you know, until it's different, most of my videos will probably be in the mornings, uh, which is fine. You know, I don't see any problem with that because, you know, I upload them in the mornings. Americans can still catch them because they're awake. Um, I'm pretty sure that would be afternoon time, I think, for people in the United Kingdom. If it's not, and if you're in the United Kingdom, just let me know. You know, give me a holler. Because I'm kind of shooting, not really to appease the people from the United Kingdom, but, you know, if I got more people there watching my videos than anywhere else, I'm going to try to shoot for, you know, uh, uploading it where they'll like it or whatever, if they're out searching for videos, you know, that sort of thing. So, you can't make everybody happy. Uh, I have thought about maybe just kind of switching it off, doing a video in the morning, video in the afternoon, and normally the way it works is like, if I have time to record right after work, then I'll record, edit, render, upload right then, and it'll be up by like 5 p.m. or something like that, Central Standard Time, 6 p.m., something like that, and you know, that works out. You know, I've got, you know, automatic views off that, you know, but like right now I'm recording late in the afternoon. So I won't even get it rendered completely before I go to bed. And then I'll just wake up early in the morning and then just render it, or upload it then. Uh, let's see. What button am I trying to push? That one. But yeah, there, there's an awful lot of work going on, guys. Everybody out there. Just so you guys are aware. That's a good looking picture. Look at that. I'm gonna get rid of the HUD there. That's a nice looking picture, ain't it? That's gonna be amazing. I'll hit my screenshot button. Okay, well that's it for today, guys. Everybody out there, folks. And, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm glad everybody's enjoying all the videos and stuff. I'm doing my best for now. Um, with everything that's going on. Just bear with me. You know, and uh, I'd appreciate if everybody, if you like my videos, please, you know, like them. You know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. You know, share them with people. Let your friends know. You know, we can build the community that way. You know, maybe sometime we can get a multiplayer server going, and everybody can kind of play with everybody and that sort of thing. We can all have good conversations about like what we're doing on our farms and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. Uh, but yeah, this. This is the Butcher Man saying have a nice night, guys.